we are looking forward to see because we have part of the relationship with Pearson before the English language uh, uh, courses that we are teaching. Uh, also, we are looking for the institute for other uh, yeah, okay. And Pearson is one of the is actually the the one who's handling uh, these things, and also other maybe in the future uh, other books related to the courses that we are teaching. Here in Yamba Industrial College and also Yamba Technical Institute, we are uh, going toward that we have our <coughs> training materials or uh, books or academic materials to be uh, textbooks more than it will be some information sheet that we develop. So we will see that how we can look at this relationship uh, in the future and what kind of solutions to be provided. Uh, Dr. Othman and his colleague, Mr. Haida. They are, I mean, the ones usually who handle these things for, uh, because of the curriculum development and uh, all other issues. Maybe later on, um, if these things will benefit even our colleagues in uh, Yambor University College, we will look at these uh, issues and these things, inshallah, in the future. My colleague, Ibrahim, will uh, take us through uh, labs, our labs and masterings, and all our course management systems that can be integrated with your courses. And uh, then, if you have any questions, uh, I will leave the floor for any questions. Uh, largest 100 companies worldwide. It's listed in the UK Stock Exchange in the FTSE index. And if you look at that chart, you will see a com the custom services that are presented to the lecturers, the custom publishing, the content choice, the bespoke process or the personalization, what benefits are there for each and every individual or lecturer to help him benefit his students through the course he teaches. And finally, we can go quickly or browse quickly, either live or from still shots that I've taken yesterday through the custom library of the foundation year program. Yeah, explain from an instructor point of view, student perspective, and then of, of course as an institution. I think it's for the community college in, uh, yes. in uh, they would have updated content or they would have taken sections out or edited chapters to best fit for because I wasn't I wasn't at I wasn't at the time this project was was done. But in in in, uh, in common practice, what they would ha have done is they would have changed the chapter sequence of specific learning outcome. So at the end of the course, when you are required to to um, to submit proof uh, to ABET as an accrediting board on how you've met your learning outcome, you can do this from the system that will give you statistics and grade book about each student. What you have done? No, the students would be transmitted from the class, uh, I mean, rosters and other things. Right. Like How is the issue of the integration with We can actually what integrate the system is being used. Uh, what are you using, Blackboard or Moodle? Moodle. 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 Actually, we can, we can integrate the gradebook from those programs we into Moodle, Moodle or, or, or yeah. Blackboard. Yeah. Really. And it's very easy. We can set all that up for you. So all the grades from here, they will just get transferred into Moodle. OK, and also it works uh, through the intranet or the, through the internet? Internet. Internet. The internet. internet. So yeah. It can be fully integrated with yeah. Moodle, but, but it should be working on the internet, not internet. Yeah, this is yeah. because students, they can access it from their house, from yeah. any place exactly. that they are in. Exactly. At least one semester, we need the faculties and students needs to learn this system first. Oh, this is this is this is what we do. This is very trust me. It's very easy. You might seem overwhelming now, but we come and we train. We we make you comfortable using this program. For trust me. It's also we we provide first day class for your students. Exactly. So it's a repetition session for them to 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 know how to register themselves uh, into mastering or labs and how to use it, how to, you know, train themselves uh, using the study plan, everything, everything. So we, we do provide first day of class for the students and of course before this, uh, the training for the professors. So okay. for now, uh, I think we're finished. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much for this constructive presentation. Really appreciate your efforts and your input. Perhaps because we got like teachers coming from a wide range of discipline. We just want to allow like one minute for each faculty member to raise any critical question, concern about his pedagogy. Uh, I would like just to know if you have uh, some inputs regarding trainees. Those students, they are coming from companies, not for going for the academic degrees like associate or others. Do you have any uh, something written for them or have you any experience regarding this issue? 
What kind of subjects would you would you be uh, teaching? Basic skills. Those? Basic skills subjects. Basic skills. English, in? math, uh, physics, oh, okay. chemistry. Yeah, I mean these all these programs that we have, you can use them for those courses. Yeah, most of them they are written. It seems to me for the academic institutions. It's not for trainees coming from companies. <coughs> Usually, it's a little bit different. Yeah, I mean. The, the, the final idea is, you know, you're teaching them a particular subject. So if it's mathematics, it depends on the level that you want to teach them, basic, medium, high, then we cover all of those. Don't forget that the technology is linked to the textbook. So if it's basic mathematics you want to, to teach them, then we have that content. If it's pre-calculus or if it's intermediate algebra or whatever, we have the subject. And you can cut it down to as much as you like. So you don't have to use the whole system. You can cut or add or edit. It's doable. All right. Thank you very much. Maybe it's just more uh, to yes. the because of the time. Yeah. And very quickly, if you want something practical in terms of technical math or something only dedicated for employees or trainees, non-academic, non uh, we can look into customizing uh, uh, exercises that come at the end of sections or at the end of chapters <laughs> namely covering the same concepts but there will only be like for example a booklet for technical math extracted from uh, our calculus or pre pre math or college algebra etc etc we can look into doing something like that if it serves if it serves the purpose okay maximum how long you take for customization if it is under psn umbrella from the day you confirm to us the content okay if you want the delivery to be in print format as i said the we go through an editorial stage of six to eight weeks, then a printing stage on delivery stage between four to six weeks, plus or minus. And if you want an e-delivery, whether it's an e-book or a customized e-book, it's between six to eight weeks from the day you confirm to us the, the content and everything is formally finalized. Okay. From <coughs> design aspects, how about if I want to, if I want to link uh, like uh, CAD CAM? Software mm -hmm. engineering or solid works with uh, like uh, finite element analysis in design. How to how is your ability to your, your, uh, your company? I don't this? think personally, I don't and correct me, you're the IT person. I don't think the CAD or, or the mechanical engineering drawing mm -hmm. software will uh, will sit on our platform unless it's compatible or unless what we have or basically what we have should satisfy to a certain extent uh, the drawings that your mechanical engineers or technicians in the lab need to draw. But obviously these, these softwares, they have a purpose mm -hmm. and they wouldn't be stand alone or set alone if we have been able to supply or give you the same facilities they do. So uh, technically I cannot really, this is the, this is the answer. If you're customizing an e-text, we can build in a link of, ma of, of CAD or yeah, CAD CAM okay. or this software that you're talking about and it will divert the student to that specific uh, website if they have it available. Well, uh, many simulations and uh, actually it differs. It, there are some training based and there are some scale based simulation. Certification based. Yeah, project based and scale based. Scale based it's, uh, it allows you to jump between the parts of the question but the project based it's not allowed for, for you to jump between the, the, the different parts of the question. You have to finish the first part to have the, to, to have the, the second part. So it's like a project, project uh, process. So, and all of these are in, in a simulation of the, the, the application. Which uh, I want to ask about the steps, which uh, the first step. For your size and Sorry, can, can, you, can you repeat that? For the customization. Customization of uh, course between STAT and CalCon. You want to mix them both yes. together? Yes. If you send if you send Mahmoud or myself the course outline, both course outline, or if you have unified or put a course outline that contains the calculus and the statistics, we can get you samples or we can guide you by showing you books that cover this outline. And you just yes. tell us what you want to customize from them. You will send the, at first the, the books to see yeah. and then... Uh, yeah, we will send you samples so you uh, can see them. Mm -hmm. And statistics is not available on the custom library yet, but pre-calculus and calculus is. So you can view the calculus books 
after two minutes, when you go and register on the custom library, whatever you want from statistics, we can we can you know we can send you a list of and and if you have unified the course outline or if you have created this course outline, just send it to us and we will tell you which products are or we will guide you through which products are best fit for your. Uh, we have already information sheet already. Please send it to us and we'll guide you through the steps you need to customize for that position. Regarding customizing the book, about the editing itself. It will be. It will. You tell us what you want changed. What we advise on is uh, light change. If you want to take, for example, a section out, we advise you to take the whole section out, not parts of the section, to make the editorial process easier. Because the deeper we we get into that, we will do the editing for you. You tell us what you want, and we will do it for you. Yes. But the deeper you go into the editorial uh, requirements, the longer it will take for us to create the book. Because the problem is that uh, if you have one subject, you take it from different books. I think uh, to make homogeneity of the book itself, you need some editing. We will do the editing for you. You just tell us which section you want or which chapters you want from the various source books, and we will do the editing for you, and we will send you a table of contents, and then we will send you a review uh, so if, if I need to change something in the editing itself uh, to make the, the book homogeneity of the book, okay. we don't advise you to do this because it takes. It's a very lengthy process. Yeah. It's not. It's not something that you can do within the time frames I mentioned, and the cost of it will be higher. Plus, anything that we change in in contact in content for the rights that we pay for yeah. will incur more prices. Okay. okay. See, English Language Center. So we have started cooperation like more than three, four years back. And most of the textbook we are using in ELC are like from Pearson, more or <coughs> But still we have problems. We're still struggling with certain courses. Still like, because here, the major goal of ELC is to help students uh, excel in their specialization. Because we are not offering degrees. Yes, we help them. <laughs> because uh, the, 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 me the medium of instruction is here in English. So we are helping students. So the problem here is how to strike a balance between achieving the, the learning and the learning outcomes and the course objectives, and at the same time meet the, the type or the feature of the language they are using in their specialization. So we are struggling with like three, a couple of courses. Uh, I wonder if you can like help us find textbooks if we provide you with the learning outcomes and course objectives and these kind of things. And again, we have like two or three books. We already piloted, but they didn't work. And it's still from person like workplace communication. And how can we like solve these kind of problems in my department? If you do provide us with this information, we have subject matter experts who look into those specific areas. Okay. If you give, give us your feedback on you know, your course outline, how you want to go about the course, we will look for you. If we have content that matches your needs, then you know, we'll come back to you and advise you what that would be. But that, that will be through the subject matter experts, in this case, English language teaching. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for this constructive and progress. Please join me to show the appreciation for this wonderful discussion. Thank you. Thank you.